Oh, when what was your your first uh, derby Highland derby experience like? Yeah, it was enjoyable. Obviously, you know, when you get the result, uh, it's quite easy to say that it was enjoyable. But you know, the way the way that we played for for big parts of the game, the first half especially, was was pleasing. Um, you know, it's all about winning, really. We, we were able to build on last week's victory uh, over Dundee United, and I'm not sure if we managed to do it last year. Win win two games on the bounce, so it's it's a real positive thing. Uh, when the team were probably under a little bit of pressure before last week. Um, so, you know, things change very quickly in football and uh, that was real, real enjoyable and very pleasing tonight. A great start you made to the game as well. It was a really kind of fast uh, tempo. Was that the plan to, to get a county from the, the first whistle? Yeah, of course, but, you know, that would have been their plan as well. So, uh, it, 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 it's, it's almost about just momentum and, and just the first couple of phases of attack uh, went in our favour and we put them under a little bit of pressure and it just gets... Gets a little bit of uh, bit of energy into the stadium, if you like, and, and we were luckily able to build on that on the pitch. Um, credit to them. Obviously, in the second half, they came came out as well. Um, bit of a dodgy free kick that they scored from, I think. But uh, you know, they made it tough for us, and, and it was a real sort of hard-fought victory in the end. It was almost like a game of two halves because the second half, like you say, they, they came out and they made a real go of it, and they might have got back into the game, but a few good saves from Antonio. Yeah, they did. They, they came right at us, and you know they had to really because you know if we're, if we're being honest, we sort of dominated the first half, played some really good stuff. Uh, very rarely in a football game, sort of of this standard up in the SPL, uh, you're not going to get it your own way for for 90 minutes. You know you, you're going to have to ride your luck at times and, and just defend very very well and very strongly as a team. And you know we we uh, we did that tonight. A special win for the team and also the supporters as well. They, they enjoyed that tonight. Of course, because you know all the talk has been about them for a long long time with, with how well they did last year with their unbeaten run and, and sort of the, the good positive start they made to, to sort of life in the, in the SPL um, we were always confident in, in our own ability and sort of although we haven't won many games up to now uh, we haven't lost too many either so you know this is a real good platform for us now uh, we go away for the international break ready to go again afterwards yeah you break for the international break and a chance to, to get going once you come back away to Dundee but the international break also sees Wales up against your adopted country Scotland yeah your thoughts on that uh, it's going to be an interesting one both both teams are under a little bit of pressure uh, unfortunately due to the start uh, Wales have had a, a really poor start Scotland I think a couple of draws um, they both need the win you know Draw, draws won't do at this stage uh, so hopefully both teams go go all out for the victory and uh, let's hope the uh, the Dragons come out on top on, in that one well Maybe, maybe not. Uh, despite it being on home soil as well, that might give Wales the advantage perhaps then in Cardiff? I hope so, I hope so. Uh, I think the manager Chris Coleman's made a couple of changes this week, uh, changing the captaincy, starting now to put his own stamp on the team, uh, which, which is needed. It was a real delicate issue with sort of the way that he got the job with the passing of Gary Speed. Um, you know, he really did have to hand it delicately. He was hoping that sort of what was happening under Gary Speed would continue. Unfortunately, it hasn't been the case. Um, hopefully now we can start pick, really picking up. I know yourself. You're looking to get back into the international fold as well, and you know the the game here at Cali Thistle will hopefully catch the, the eye of Chris Coleman. Hopefully, but honestly, it really is secondary. Uh, it's 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 not something I'm worried about when the when the squads come out. I don't worry about it and, and look too deeply uh, to see if I'm in there. Um, if it happens, it happens. But my priority uh, really is playing regular and playing playing to a high standard. Good man. Cheers, always. Thanks for that.